Dr. Jason Saunders here with HBOT USA, and we're going to do another research review today. Uh, we're going to talk about hyperbaric oxygen as it relates very specifically to cognitive performance, um, our ability to maintain attention, to retrieve memories, um, our, our ability for executive function. So there's a very strong correlation with blood flow to our brain and our brain's performance. An initial question would be, you know, our brain uses up about 20% of the total oxygen that we bring in through our breathing. And is that the total amount of oxygen that's required by the brain to perform normally? Or is that the total amount of oxygen that our body's willing to allow our brain to have because ultimately we need the other 80% to do all the other functions that our body is requiring uh, on any given moment in any given day? And so uh, to figure that out, uh, there's a group in Israel uh, led by uh, Dr. Shai Afradi, and uh, in 2017, they did one study looking at uh, human brain performance and hyperbaric oxygen, and now recently, they just put out another study, actually July 2020, uh, also looking at brain performance. One looking, the first one in 2017 was looking more at just general brain performance in uh, younger and healthy adults, and the one more recently in July was looking specifically at older adults and cognitive performance as it relates to the aging process. And they're looking to answer that question. In other words, if the brain was supplied a higher percentage of oxygen than what it typically gets, would we see an increase in brain performance? Uh, and throughout both of those studies, uh, the, the answer is an absolute yes. And so uh, a few details about the studies and like always, uh, we will put the uh, links to the studies below so you guys could check out the actual copies of the studies also. But just a quick uh, summary, the one from September 2017, they had uh, about 22 healthy individuals. They broke up into two groups of 11. Uh, they both went through uh, a, a course of care with hyperbaric oxygen. They also did a crossover study where after the first group did their rounds uh, and the other group was in a control uh, they waited a few weeks and then they flipped and did the second group getting the treatment while the other uh, group got the control just to see if it was consistent in terms of the uh, benefits seen with the hyperbaric oxygen. And so uh, with this study, there were, like I said, there were 22 individuals, 11 in each group. Uh, they did a motor skill, they did a cognitive skill, and then they dual tasked the patients, meaning... They were asked to do a motor and cognitive skill simultaneously. Obviously, uh, dual tasking or multitasking is, is uh, much more difficult as far as brain capacity than either, either one uh, by themselves. And so uh, through the course of the study, uh, both groups, uh, both treated groups, whether it was the original treated group or in the crossover, the second treated group, the hyperbaric oxygen treated group saw an improvement in their capacity to do the motor function alone an improved capacity to do the cognitive function alone, and an improved capacity to do the dual tasking or the multitasking component as well. And so all three areas that were looked at saw uh, significant improvement after hyperbaric oxygen than before, and that was in both the original group as well as in the crossover group. Now, more recently in July of 2020, we put out, uh, they put out a study on uh, 63 adults uh, over the age of 64, and they were looking at uh, cognitive performance uh, as it relates to the changes that we see with aging. And so uh, oftentimes, uh, just through slow degeneration of tissue, uh, through small occlusions in the uh, capillary beds that feed our tissue, but specifically that feed our brain the oxygen that it needs to perform, uh, we see a somewhat of a slowing down or a decrease in, in brain performance, as well as a decrease in overall brain blood flow perfusion. And so what they did was they took 63 adults. They were using a computerized cognitive assessment, as well as an MRI uh, or an MRA, really, looking at cerebral blood flow uh, pre and post to see if there were any changes. Uh, and so in the treated group, the, the main changes that were witnessed were uh, improved uh, attention capacity, improved processing speed, improvements of in, uh, executive function skills, and 
the improvements that were seen in terms of the computerized assessment that was done all correlated directly with the increases witnessed on the MRI scans pre and post. And so there was absolutely an increase in blood flow uh, post hyperbaric treatment. And that increase in blood flow did correlate with an improvement of oxygenation to the brain, which led to improvements in, uh, like I mentioned, attention, uh, memory, uh, brain performance, and executive function. So uh, both studies are, are great studies, and they're really beginning to open our eyes to say hyperbaric is not only a tool to be used for very serious conditions, as typically seen with things like uh, diabetic neuropathy or osteomyelitis or burn healing, uh, but this is a tool that has a very broad uh, application to he the healing process for us in general, as well as in the, uh, in the realm of performance. And that performance is both the physical performance of our bodies, as well as the uh, cognitive or mental capacity of our performance as well. So great studies. We will leave the uh, links below. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time.